So this is a Q&A quiz on the, the Diploma in Financial Studies Unit 4, May 2023, Case Study 2. I'll go through each of the questions and then I'll go through a separate section with questions and answers. So, first question, how old is Aaron? Second, where does Aaron live? Question 3, what is Aaron going to study at university? Question 4, which university is Aaron going to study at? Question number five. Where does Aaron work part-time alongside his A-levels? Question six. Has Aaron got plans for making money whilst he is at university? Question seven. Who has Aaron received help from regarding how to budget his money? Question eight. What does Aaron use his young person's bank account for? Question nine. What are Aaron's views on using an overdraft? Question ten. Aaron's dad said that nothing is free in life. What other advice has he given to Aaron? Question 11. What incentives has Aaron found that banks are willing to offer if he opens an account with them? Question 12. Under what circumstances is an individual permitted to open a student bank account? Question 13. What happens to student bank accounts once students finish education? Question 14. What is the main difference between current and student accounts? Question 15. How much do some student accounts now offer in terms of their interest-free overdraft? Question 16. How is competition between banks and building societies described when it comes to student accounts? Question 17. Is a student able to open multiple student accounts? Question 18. Why might a student choose to open a second bank account? Question 19. Do some banks offer credit cards with student accounts? And question 20. What is the benefit of credit cards offered alongside current accounts? Question 21. What may happen if you miss a credit card repayment? Question 22. Is the transition from a student account to a graduate account as much of a scramble by high street banks as the race to attract freshers to a student account in the first place? Question 23. Which student account do both Save the Student and MoneySavingExpert.com both highlight? Question 24. What does Santander's 123 graduate current account offer? Question 25. According to Save the Student, how easy is it to switch banks? Question 26. In some cases, the actual amount of overdraft an individual is offered may end up being different to what is advertised on overdraft offers. What does it depend on? Question 27. How will correctly managing essential debt throughout an individual's student experience help them? Question 28. Why might having no credit history be just as troublesome as having a poor credit rating? Question 29. What happens after two or three years, dependent on your bank, after you graduate? Question 30. Why is it important for banks to attract students into their accounts? Question 31. What percentage of those surveyed by the ONS said they'd been with their bank for over 20 years? Question 32. What further percentage of those surveyed by the ONS said they'd been with their bank for over 10 years? Question 33. What was the most common reason for why customers stay loyal to their banks, according to Brandwatch with research? Question 34. Is there high customer retention in the banking sector? Question 35. What three factors continue to disrupt the banking sector? Question 36. What is a downside of the disruption to the banking sector to providers if their services become suboptimal? Question 37. What is it that the drum.com suggests makes us stay with our banks longer than our spouses? Question 38. Current accounts are offering up to how much for customers to switch to them? 
Question 39. Why are providers willing to spend up to this amount to attract new customers? Question 40. How do banks make money from customers who they have paid to switch to them? Question 41. How long does the Santander 16 to 25 rail card last for? Question 42. How much does the Santander 16 to 25 rail card save on rail travel in Great Britain? Question 43. How much interest free overdraft do Santander offer in years 1 to 3? Question 44. How much interest-free arranged overdraft do Santander offer in year 4? Question 45. How much interest-free arranged overdraft do Santander offer in year 5? Question 46. Is there a monthly fee to maintain the account? Question 47. What is an overdraft intended for? Question 48. Is an overdraft suitable for longer term borrowing? Question 49. Students get an arranged overdraft of £250 when they open a student account with Santander. How do they increase this to £1,500? Question 50. With Santander, can the student reduce their overdraft limit? Question 51. What other benefits does the Santander 16 to 25 rail card also entitle holders to? Question 52. How much could students receive as part of Santander University's £100,000 giveaway? Question 53. How many students will receive this money as part of Santander University's £100,000 giveaway? Question 54. Is there a monthly account fee for the HSBC student account? Question 55. What incentive does HSBC offer to open a student account with them? Question 56. What do students have to do to be eligible for this? Question 57. How much interest-free arranged overdraft do HSBC offer in the first year? Question 58. How much interest-free arranged overdraft do HSBC offer by year 2? And question 59. How much interest-free arranged overdraft do HSBC offer by year 3? Question 60. What options does the HSBC student account offer students to pay on the go? Question 61. What option does the HSBC student account offer students to pay their friends? Question 62. What facility does the HSBC student account offer students to see how much they could have left after bills and regular payments? Question 63. What is HSBC offers program called which gives discounts at Costa Coffee, ASOS and Boohoo? Question 64. What does it depend on whether or not students will be granted interest-free arranged overdraft increases of up to £2,000 in Year 2 and £3,000 in Year 3? Question 65. Is a conclusion required for questions where analyse is the command word? Question 66. Is a conclusion required for questions where describe is the command word? Question 67. Is a conclusion required for questions where evaluate is the command word? Question 68. How much development is needed within questions where suggest is the command word? Question 69. Is a conclusion required for questions where discuss is the command word? And question 70. What do to what extent questions require students to do? So, let's have a look at the answers. Question number one. How old is Aaron? Aaron is 18. Question two. Where does Aaron live? Aaron lives in Worcester. Question three. What is Aaron going to study at university? Aaron is going to study engineering at university. Question four. 
which university is Aaron going to study at? Aaron is going to study at Leeds University. Question number five. Where does Aaron work part-time alongside his A-levels? Aaron works at a fast food outlet. Question number six. Has Aaron got plans for making money whilst he is at university? Aaron has been accepted for part-time work at the same chain of fast food outlets in Leeds. Question seven. Who has Aaron received help from regarding how to budget his money? Aaron has received help from his parents. Question eight. What does Aaron use his young person's bank account for? He uses it for pocket money and then his wages from his part-time job. Question nine. What are Aaron's views on using an overdraft? Aaron does not want to access an overdraft if he does not have to. Question number 10. Aaron's dad said that nothing in life is free. What other advice has he given to Aaron? Aaron's dad has advised him to investigate what other providers of student bank accounts are offering. Question number 11. What incentives has Aaron found that banks are willing to offer if he opens an account with them? Cash, rail cards and interest-free overdrafts. Question 12. Under what circumstances is an individual permitted to open a student bank account? If they are moving on to or are within higher education. Question 13. What happens to student bank accounts once students finish education? The answer is that the account can become a graduate account. Question 14. What is the main difference between current and student accounts? The main difference is the overdraft facility. Question number 15. How much do some student accounts now offer in terms of their interest-free overdraft? Some accounts offer up to £3,000. Question number 16. How is competition between banks and building societies described when it comes to student accounts? Competition is described as high. Question 17. Is a student able to open multiple student accounts? Usually, the terms and conditions of your student bank account won't allow you to open multiple student accounts, but there's nothing stopping you from using another current account for your day-to-day -day spending. Question 18. Why might a student choose to open a second bank account? A student might choose to open a second bank account to manage their budget more effectively or to take advantage of useful features, such as being able to divide money into spending and savings pots. Question 19. Do some banks offer credit cards with student accounts? Yes, some banks offer credit cards that are available alongside student accounts. Question 20. What is the benefit of credit cards offered alongside student current accounts? These cards usually have fixed and relatively low credit limits. Question number 21. What may happen if you miss a credit card repayment? If you miss a repayment, even the minimum, you'll receive penalty charges and it might damage your credit rating. Question 22. Is the transition from a student account to a graduate account as much of a scramble by high street banks as the race to attract freshers to a student account in the first place? No, the transition to a graduate account is usually far more sedate. Question 23. Which student account do both Save the Student and MoneySavingExpert.com both highlight? They both highlight Santander's 123 graduate current account. Question 24. What do Santander's 123 graduate current account offer? It comes with an interest-free and fee-free arranged overdraft of up to £2,000 for three years. Question 25. According to Save the Student, how easy is it to switch banks? Save the Student advises it's pretty easy to ditch your current bank and switch to a new one. 
Question 26. In some cases, the actual amount of overdraft an individual is offered may end up being different to what is advertised on overdraft offers. What does it depend on? It depends on the individual's financial circumstances and their credit rating. Question 27. How will correctly managing essential debt throughout an individual's student experience help them? It will help them get a better credit score. Question 28. Why might having no credit history be just as troublesome as having a poor credit rating? Without a history of spending and repayments, a bank may be less willing to loan money. Question 29. What happens after two or three years, dependent on your bank, after you graduate? Your graduate account will be converted into a normal current account, with all the interest and fees these entail. And question 30. Why is it important for banks to attract students into their accounts? They may stay with the bank for the longer term. Question number 31. What percentage of those surveyed by the ONS said they'd been with their bank for over 20 years? There was 40% of those surveyed said they'd been with their bank for over 20 years. Question 32. What further percentage of those surveyed by the ONS said they'd been with their bank for over 10 years? 20%. Question 33. What was the most common reason for why customers stay loyal to their banks, according to Brandwatch research? Convenience, or rather the inconvenience of having to switch accounts. Question 34. Is there high customer retention in the banking sector? Yes, there is high retention within the banking sector. Question 35. What three factors continue to disrupt the banking sector? Open banking, challenges and emerging technology. Before we go on to the second half of questions and answers, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Model answers will shortly be released. Question 36. What is a downside of the disruption to the banking sector to providers if their services become suboptimal? it will become increasingly convenient for customers to switch accounts and products. Question 37. What is it that the drum.com suggests make us stay with our banks longer than our spouses? Convenience rather than passion. Question 38. Current accounts are offering up to how much for customers to switch to them? £150. Question 39. Why are providers willing to spend up to this amount to attract new customers? They are banking on their future relationship with the customer will earn them more than the upfront cost of acquiring them. Question 40. How do banks make money from customers who they have paid to switch to them? Through retention, cross-selling and upselling. Question 41. How long does the Santander 16 to 25 rail card last for? It lasts for four years. Question 42. How much does the Santander 16 to 25 rail card save on rail travel in Great Britain? It saves one third. Question 43. How much interest free arranged overdraft do Santander offer in years one to three? They offer £1,500. How much interest arranged overdraft do Santander offer in year 4? The answer to question 44 is 1800 And question 45. How much interest free arranged overdraft do Santander offer in year 5? £2,000. Question 46. Is there a monthly fee to maintain the account? No, there is no monthly fee. Question 47. What is an overdraft intended for? Mainly for short-term costs or emergencies. Question 48. Is an overdraft suitable for longer-term borrowing? Not generally. 
Question 49. Students get an arranged overdraft of £250 when they open a student account with Santander. How do they increase this to £1,500? They register for online banking and pay in £500 and continue to pay in at least £500 per academic term. Question number 50. With Santander, can the student reduce their overdraft limit? Yes, students can ask to reduce the limit at any time. Question 51. What other benefits does the Santander 16 to 25 rail card also entitle holders to? It entitles holders to exclusive deals on holidays, eating out, top attractions and more. Question 52. How much could students receive as part of Santander University's £100,000 giveaway? Students could receive £500. 53. How many students will receive this money as part of Santander University's £100,000 giveaway? 200 students will receive this money. Question 54. Is there a monthly account fee for the HSBC student account? No, there is no monthly account fee. Question 55. What incentive does HSBC offer to open a student account with them? They offer £100. Question 56. What do students have to do to be eligible for this £100? They have to make a minimum of five qualifying transactions using the HSBC debit card linked to the account within 30 days of account opening. Question 57. How much interest-free arranged overdraft do HSBC offer in the first year? HSBC offer £1,000. Question 58. How much interest-free arranged overdraft do HSBC offer by year two? They offer up to £2,000. Question 59. How much interest-free arranged overdraft do HSBC offer by year three? They offer up to £3,000. Question 60. What options does the HSBC student account offer students to pay on the go? They offer Apple Pay, Google Pay and also Samsung Pay. Question 61. What option does the HSBC student account offer students to pay their friends? They offer to pay friends using just their mobile number with PAYM. Question 62. What facility does the HSBC student account offer students to see how much they could have left after bills and regular payments? They offer balance after bills. Question 63. What is HSBC Offers program called, which gives discounts at Costa Coffee, ASOS and Boohoo? It's called the Home and Away Offers program. Question 64. What's it depend on whether or not students will be granted interest-free arranged overdraft increases of up to £2,000 in Year 2 and £3,000 in Year 3? This is subject to status and how your account has been used. Question 65. Is a conclusion required for questions where analyse is the command word? Conclusions are not required for questions where analyse is the command word. Question 66. Is a conclusion required for questions where describe is the command word? Conclusions are not needed for questions where describe is the command word. Question 67. Is a conclusion required for questions where evaluate is the command word? Com candidates should make a justified recommendation or conclusion which sums up the main points being discussed and weighs up the benefits and drawbacks of what is being considered within questions, where evaluate is the command word. Question 68. How much development is needed within questions where suggest is the command word? Candidates should state a possible reason or course of action. There is no development required. Question 69. Is a conclusion required for questions where discuss is the command word? 
For questions where discuss is the command word, candidates should include a conclusion or recommendation that is fully and logically supported. And the final question, what do to what extent questions require students to do? To what extent questions evoke a similar response to questions containing how far? This type of question calls for a thorough assessment of the evidence in presenting your argument. Don't forget to subscribe to CGS Money and Finance model answer videos on the way.